Hey guys, welcome to Glitchy Tweets. Today we learn the stretch and mirror in circle transition in After Effects. We'll start with two clips placed side by side. Remember to enable motion blur on the clips. Let's start working with the second clip. In effects and presets, look up motion tile and add it to the clip. Then, hit P on your keyboard to enable position. Right click on the position and select separate dimensions. We will now add a keyframe on the X position. Move it to the end of your clip, then set the value to 0. You can adjust the value of the keyframe at the end to make sure your image is positioned well in the frame. You need to move this keyframe a frame back so that you can see the changes that you make. Let us now move to the graph editor. Select the graph, then easy ease your keyframes and edit your graph like so. When you're done, Move the keyframe back to the end of the clip. Recompose this layer and name it Mirror. Add the effect Mirror to this precomposed layer. If the reflection is too close to the object, then adjust the X position of the last keyframe in the clip within the pre-composed layer. We don't need to adjust the value graph as this change in the value will add this slight bounce to the movement of your clip. We will now duplicate the mirror layer and add the tint effect to the layer below. Then, hit T on the keyboard for opacity and click on the stopwatch to add a keyframe. Move the keyframe to the end of the clip. It has changed this value to zero. We will now edit the graph Remember to easy ease the keyframes and edit the graph like so. To the top layer, add the effect S wipe circle. Let's animate the wipe percent. We will start by adding a keyframe at the beginning. Then move 10 frames forward and set the value to 55. Move to the graph editor and select your keyframes and easy ease then edit the graph. We will now add the glass edge appearance to the circle. This is done by duplicating the circle layer. Then scaling up the second layer to around 107 and lowering its opacity to 50. To make the circle stand out a bit more, we will blur the background with the Gaussian Blur effect. Set the blurriness to around 50 and enable the repeat edge pixels to prevent the black edges around your clip. Let us make it look better by adding a drop shadow to the second circle layer. Do this by right clicking on the layer, then navigate to layer styles and select drop shadow. Set the distance to 30 and the size to 60. Let's add a few more effects to make it look even better. Add an adjustment layer. Add the effect Optics Compensation. Then enable Reverse Lens Distortion. We will animate the field of view by clicking on the stopwatch to add a keyframe. Move this keyframe 10 frames forward. Then change the value to 120. the keyframes and edit your graph like this. To the first circle layer, add the effect CC light swing. And animate the center position. 
One keyframe will be at the beginning of the clip and the other will be at the end. We are now done with the second clip. Now let's start with the simple stretch in the first clip. Hit S on your keyboard to enable scale, then disable the linking of the values and click on the stopwatch to add a keyframe. Let's now move the keyframe to the beginning of the clip. Then, with the playhead one frame before the end of the clip, change the X value of the scale to 150. And easy is the keyframes, then edit the graph. When you are done, move the keyframe to the end of the clip. If you want to improve the look even further, add an adjustment layer for both of the clips. Then, look up the effect, brightness and contrast and add it to the adjustment layers. We'll animate the brightness value from 50 to 0. Easy is the keyframes and edit your graph. Copy and paste this effect to the other adjustment layer. And time reverse the keyframes. This is how the final transition will look. Thank you for watching all the way to the end. I hope you're able to benefit from this tutorial. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. You can also comment down below on what tutorial you'd like me to make next time. That being said, I'll see you guys in the next video.